taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. So, like, see, we're back with another video, guys. So, we're going to talk about Casper. The price of Casper is falling, okay, guys? And um, it's funny because people are making videos or people are leaving comments. They're saying, why is Casper dumping? I'll tell you why Casper's dumping. is because it pumped. All right, guys? What did you expect that was going to happen? I told you in previous videos that I expected Casper that it could possibly come all the way down to one and a half cents at this support right down here. Okay, guys? And um, I've seen videos saying that, no, I don't think that Casper's going to come down to a penny and, and this and that. People just assume that, when something pumps, it's just going to keep going. It's just going to keep pumping, right? Charts don't move in straight lines. I'm still holding Casper. Okay, guys, if you've been following the channel, you know that on this initial pump, I took some profits. Okay, guys, on this initial dump, I also bought back my whole bag with my initial investment taken off the table. The Casper that I'm holding is free. It's house money and it's a very decent sized bag in my opinion okay guys but i've consistently said that i am bullish on casper if this was a token that i wasn't bullish on i would just take profits and walk away but i didn't okay i sold i bought back so i've got a decent bag of casper and i'm holding that for the long run we saw it pump again after that and people began to get a bit hyped i said that it might be a bull flag and we could potentially potentially test retest the all-time high before we pull back further now unfortunately um it didn't retest the all-time high it did try to get a breakout it was a bit of a fake out and now we see it actually came back down below and then broke below this symmetrical triangle and now it is hugging the ema ribbon in my opinion this is a good time to buy it's not financial advice do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose but i'm talking as a person that believes that this is going to go to the moon long term not only that you have a wave one a wave three and a wave five okay guys so this is basically in elliott wave theory this is a completed move and then we get an a b c correction there could be a d and an e correction all right but um technically this would be a good place to buy in my opinion all right guys if we do a fibonacci retracement and we go down to this previous low all right guys you will see that this has pulled down to the 0.5, okay? It didn't hold the 0.618. So this could potentially come down to the 0.382. And if it comes all the way down to the one and a half cents, like I talked about, it will come all the way down and that will be a even better buying opportunity. So what would I do if I was buying Casper? Although I'm not buying Casper because I'm holding Casper, but if I was buying Casper, I would DCA in. All right, guys, I will, put, I will buy some here. If it comes down further, I'll buy some more. If it comes down further, I'll buy some more. And then by the time it comes back up to here, right, you're in a profit. Let's just look at the market cap for cash by sitting at 411 million market cap, fully diluted at 655 million. I am bullish on this project. Nothing's changed. Okay, guys, you know, there's a saying, uh, what goes up must come down. Okay, so I believe that this is a wave one on the macro scale. You get a one wave, three wave, five wave. So this is a wave one on the macro. So if you look on the bigger scale, by the time we get to the next move, this will be a wave one. Okay, this whole move will be a wave one. The next one will be a wave three, which is normally one of the biggest waves in an Elliott wave. Okay, guys, so where could that potentially go? Right, we have a target potentially all the way up here this is where i believe that it could be going next all the way to 16 cents let's do a measured move from where it is now up to 16 cents okay guys that would be 626 percent gains from where it is okay guys and we are seeing potential alt season when you see meme coins going absolutely crazy right it means that people are willing to take more risk there's a coin or a token right now called pepe right pepe has been going absolutely crazy everyone's talking about it right i wouldn't be buying into this right now but just you see this this has pumped and what's happening it's selling off okay it's dumping why because it's pumped okay guys but all this says to me is when mean coins start going crazy it just means that altcoin season is around the corner people are willing to take risk okay guys and of course we are seeing a, a, a you know a few pumps around the board people are making money okay guys Bitcoin has actually started to go back up as well. So that could potentially be bullish for the rest of the altcoins as well. But on the overall trend, it looks like altcoins might be gearing up 
for an even bigger run okay guys but what goes up must come down but we can't be surprised most of these altcoins if we're saying we're bullish on these for the bull run it means we're going to be holding these for the next six months a year two years potentially 24 months okay guys so casper still bullish in my opinion and um, you know remember casper did all of this while the rest of the market was really doing nothing so you know what does that say about casper when everything else is bearish people are throwing their money into casper when everything else starts going bullish maybe people are taking some profits they're rolling it into those other tokens when they make those profits where do you think they're going to come back to something like casper that's pulled all the way back for the next run the next move upwards okay we know where we need to break we need to break these levels okay break the point uh, the three cents level and then again break the four cents level four and a half cents and then we go to the moon okay guys so that's just my opinion my take on the casper chart if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe like and comment down below and i'll see you in the very next video Thank you.